Wanted to tell you about the project that we recently completed at the Quaker Meeting House in Newport, Rhode Island in April of 2019. This project required us to repair the frame of this miraculous building that has been touched by so many hands over hundreds of years. But first, let me tell you a little bit about us. We are Heritage Restoration out of Providence, Rhode Island. And I'm Rob Cagnetta and have been doing this type of stuff for over 30 years. And we were honored to be asked by the Newport Historical Society to repair such a legacy building. But the issues weren't easy. Apparently there had been a catastrophic failure in one of the main girts in the 1803 edition. This failure um, was the result of perhaps some wind or snow loads um, that were a bit too much for the original floor system. So the solution had to be to support the purlin for the roof above, as well as hold up the broken timber. And the solution was right there in front of us. It was a 1890s uh, truss that was holding its own. So we decided to redesign a new one. The new wood truss would span the full width of the 1803 edition, and the bottom cord would be the distance of the two posts. This was more than sufficient to carry the loads. But first we had to make sure that uh, the building was properly supported for us to work on um, before we brought in um, the large timbers. Um, the timbers were fabricated um, at South County Post and Beam, which they had delivered to the site. And they had um, made sure that uh, each piece was fabricated and fitted prior to uh, delivering it to site. Um, they craned it in through the third floor, which we uh, built a ramp um, to make sure that we did not uh, uh, create any uh, damage to the original fabric. Um, the beauty of this uh, being done in a shop is it enabled us um, to be sure that the whole system would come together uh, on site and we wouldn't have any issues of assembly. Um, we, uh, were lucky enough, um, that this is in the off season, um, and the building is not occupied. Uh, so we were able to take, um, the necessary precautions and time we needed, uh, to, uh, prepare the building. Um, you can see us here, uh, considering all the factors of assembly and raising the completed frame. The frame in the end weighs about 3,000 pounds and made out of fur. We were fortunate enough to have um, a class from Roger Williams coming in that was helpful in raising the truss. Uh, there were a total of 10 of us, um, including uh, Philip Marshall, who had uh, lifted the trust with ease into place. Um, and once we were able to have it secured, um, we positioned it um, so we made sure that it was centered um, on the two posts and we made sure that we put the necessary blocking in to each rafter so we can have a proper weight distribution. Um, the truss is also bolted into the underneath uh, timber in six different places by three quarter rod. So in doing this, we were able to prevent the use of any epoxies, any steel, and just used the traditional truss system to support the floor as well as uh, the roof. And we feel that this paid respect to the original frame without major intervention and made sure the building can be appreciated for many years to come. We are just one of many hands that have touched this building and worshiped in this building and love this building. And we feel really lucky to be a part of its legacy and to leave our mark on uh, such an incredible place. So if you'd like to see more about us, visit heritagerestoration.net or uh, connect through our blog or give us a call. Thanks very much.